Never have I ever had a one night stand. I hope my stepmom or my dad isn't watching. I'm a bit concerned how many people ask me this. I had a boyfriend called Emily during lockdown. So we argued, screaming at each other. This feels so wrong. I've got a glass here of vodka and a fake version of Lil. It's very strong. It is Monday afternoon. I didn't think this through. I'm not really one of those casual, have a glass of wine of an evening kind of people. I'm assuming everyone knows what Never Have I Ever is, but if you don't, I'm gonna read what you've sent me on Instagram, the question, the Never Have I Ever. And then if I have done it, I'm gonna drink. And if I haven't, I'm not. I might give, funny how to sip. I might give some explanation. Oh, oh my God, wow, by the way, I am a lightweight. So this glass will probably do it for me. What was I even saying? We'll start off with the most asked question. Never have I ever <laughs> myself. No. I was a bit concerned how many people ask me this. Is it normal? Have you? Like, personally, no. Worn an item of clothing for a night slash day out and then returned it. So when I was like 17 and I used to illegally go out, I didn't have no money to buy clothes every time I went out. And obviously it was essential to wear a different outfit every single night out. So I think I did it a few times until New Look refused to take something back and it was the most awkward thing ever. Especially as I went to watch a school play for my little sister and the woman that worked in New Look was there and I was like, yeah, that was awkward. So I stopped after that point. I feel like... Loads of people have done that, but they're not going to admit it. Never have I ever cheated. I've never cheated. Just leave. Then leave. Get their hair, get their bread, then leave. Peace out. Not had cereal in the morning. <laughs> Would you see? <laughs> On holiday, I do not eat cereal. It makes me want to be sick. I love cereal. Like, love, love, love it. Favourite thing ever. But... I actually really don't like milk, but I enjoy it in my cereal, really weird, I don't know, but if someone's like talking about milk whilst I was eating my cereal, I would have to stop eating it. Holiday buffet is where I will be. Oh my God, I bet they don't even do them anymore, do they? Stupid Rona. Suck to toe, no. Done it with someone more than twice your age, nope. Had a boyfriend called Emily during lockdown, tee hee. It shouldn't be hard, but as Jada would say, I had an entanglement. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Never have I ever touched a cat. <laughs> and then they put, please replay what, when you did. <laughs> I'm terrified of cats, and for as long as I can remember, I've never touched one. Until this moment. My first time touching a cat ever. I don't know if I can do it. Okay, it's gonna turn around and tap. Can you stroke first? Oh my god, I'm touching a cat. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is like a miracle. Not a miracle. So I guess I'll have to drink. Never have I ever had an argument in the street. The one and only ever argument me and Naomi have had was in the street at the bottom of my road. We were 14. It was the most pettiest thing ever. So we argued, screaming at each other, then sat on different sides of the curb. My neighbors had heard and gone and told my mum. We then cried and made up. <laughs> and then we had to go face my mum who was fuming because all the neighbors had been like, what's going on? And then we've got on again and we've never argued since. <laughs> I feel a bit lightheaded, I'm not even lying. <laughs> never have I ever got high on brownies. Again, another replay required. <laughs> need to know why this is fun. Because it's not fun. I think everyone knows. Everyone's looking at me, but are they going to take me? I don't know if I'd ever do it again, but it was a funny experience when you look back on it. That was my one and only time ever doing that substance as well, so it hit me like a ton of bricks. Lied about what car you have to impress. Never. I am not impressed by cars. So I wouldn't think to impress someone with a car. I remember when I went on a date and they had two cars and I was like, I'm really, I'm not impressed at all. If anything, I find it off-putting when people shove about their cars. I'm like, fair enough if you have a nice car, but can you make me laugh? 
because that's all that matters. Because I'm here <laughs> cracking myself up 24 seven. I need someone to add to that and I'm not even funny. <laughs> Googled stuff that someone else is into so you can pretend you know about it too. No, I think I'm too open with being myself. No, I don't care that much. Recorded yourself singing to see if you were any good. When I was younger, did anyone else have the talk talk things? Where you held it like that, there was a little mic, and then it was a tape, and you could record. I used to pretend I was on the radio all the time, and I definitely sung into that just to check if I could sing, and I can confirm, I can't. Never have I ever been walked in by parents, walked in, you know, like, while well, you're... <laughs> to hear the details of that story, you need to watch. Mine and Naomi's first ever say or show it. It's worth it anyway, because it's bloody hilarious, but... I explain what happened in that video. Sent someone a naughty pic. Very young. No, that sounds so bad. I was above illegal age. I illegal. <laughs> Looking back, hell to the no, because that could go anywhere. Never have I ever had a one night stand. I have to explain this one. It's kind of like a yes and a no. This is the fastest I've ever drank. The reason I don't drink fast is because actually, I actually get quite drunk. <laughs> But one night stand is obviously, I'll never sleep with them again, I'm assuming. And it's maybe been initially a one night stand and then, then has it been? So technically, yeah, but kind of no. Do you know what I mean? Or I could have just done the generic YouTube answer, which is, no, 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 not personally. But there's nothing wrong with that. If that's what you want to do, then that's fine. Like, I don't mind, I'm not judging, but personally, I've never done that. And that the ones that I've watched where they've said that, they're all quite a lot younger than me. I probably did them things when I was their age. Maybe I'm just a f***ing slack. <laughs> I did become a little bit of a slag. I became a total slag. <laughs> Second top question was never have I ever weed outside, weed in a shower, weed myself, weed myself while I was drunk. Let's go for never have I ever weed in the shower. But that was in the dingiest rundown Magaluf hotel you've ever seen. It actually makes me feel sick. I'm sorry if you do this on a regular, but I'm really funny with we. I don't know how these people with fetishes about that. No. No, not for me. No, honey, not for me. Never have I ever told someone they look lovely when they look like shit. I'm gonna explain. Like managers and stuff. Do you know when a manager has their, their haircut or something? Someone you work with that you're not close with. You'd be like, oh, your hair looks nice, but really you don't really think it looks nice, but you have to say something. You can't just ignore it. I mean, you could. I've definitely said like, oh, I like your hair, but I'm not really that like, keen on it. <laughs> Sorry. Never have I ever sharted. Why are you all obsessed with wee and poo, you little nasty? No. Never have I ever had a sex dream. Very rarely it's about a man. Maybe Emily isn't a man. No, I'm lying. I'm just causing shit. I'm starting rumours about myself. <laughs> I hope my stepmom and my dad isn't watching because my stepmom will watch my say it or show it. And I'm like, can you not watch this? So she'll just watch it. She doesn't care. I think these people just trying to get me drunk. Wash my bowl as soon as I've had my cereal. We know I've never done that. Ever. Clean the toilet with someone else's toothbrush. Savage. I've never done that, because I would be sickened if someone done that to me, like, sickened. I mean, I wouldn't know, but I would be dis sickened, disgusted, disgusted. I'm going to take another drink, though, but I haven't done that. Pick something I cooked off the floor and ate it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never have I ever said, I love gold. Just want to see you get drunk. I love gold. <laughs> Never have I ever ignored someone's text because you don't want to speak to them. Even if I want to speak to you, I probably will ignore your text. I'm the worst texter ever. Never have I ever stalked Nexus profile, liked to pick without realising and then had a friend request days later. Wait, I think that was her. I think she did that. Oh, hon. I've never done that, but... Oh, another one that someone's done. <laughs> Oh my god, you know the video I want to do? I want to do reading embarrassing stories or confessions whilst having a little drink. Seen my neighbour giving it her bloke a cheeky BJ in the garden whilst we were having a family barbecue. <laughs> Never have I ever called a significant other by the wrong name. No. 
probably call him Emily now though, wouldn't I? Like Emily as in Emily, not Emily as in Emily. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> this is actually foul. Do you realise that before I go on a night out, I have two of these strong ass vodkas and that's it. I'm gone for the night. <laughs> Never have I ever done the walk of shame. What even is the definition of walk of shame? Because I think I have, but I wasn't sh I, I didn't feel shamed. I feel really lightheaded. <gasps> I just thought I can't drive now. I don't need to go anywhere. <laughs> An instance of walking back home on the day after an unplanned casual sexual encounter typically dressed in the same clothes as the previous evening. <laughs> this is very sexual. You absolute sex man. If you don't follow me on Instagram, here's my Instagram. Follow me so you can get involved. Watched porn. I once went for a bad habit of asking people what <laughs> Probably cut that bit out. <laughs> my battery's dying again. I have to sit here and drink whilst, whilst my battery's... I think I'm gonna do a board in the house and I'm in the house drunk vlog for Sunday. That wasn't the plan, but I don't know what to do with myself for the rest of the day. Oh no, that's so disgusting. Never have I ever lied to a younger sibling because you didn't want to make them upset. That was my little sister. Really hate lies. So I'm just drinking my drink for the fun of it. I don't know why, but yeah, I just really dislike liars. I'm not a liar, I'm pretty, probably too honest. Never have I ever fancied a friend's boyfriend slash crush. No! When me and Naomi were 12, so I had a boyfriend throughout primary school, and then when we went to secondary school, secondary school, Naomi ended up with him. I called her, and I was like, hi, yeah, so me and blah, blah, blah are back together now, so you're not together. And she was like, okay, I was like, okay, bye. <laughs> we actually had this conversation the other night and she said she would stab me. She would kill us both. Murder. Murder. I don't blame her, I would murder too, but I don't have anyone to murder anyone over. Never have I ever lied to your best friend. Never! I've never lied to any of my friends. I hate liars. My new rule is if you lie to me, you're out. I, think I don't lie, so why is it necessary? I would rather the hurtful truth than a happy lie. I've just made that up, but if there's some saying that goes to something like that. Never have I ever had a threesome. Never. If you want a part two, maybe one day, let me know. Any other video suggestions, let me know. Do the motherfuckers. <laughs> Cheers. Goodbye. Whoa. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>